Welcome back. We're a few minutes away from the opening bell on what has been a wild week for markets. But let's uh, get into an earnings report uh, from Modelo maker Constellation Brands. Stock in focus this morning after beating uh, out earnings expectations on the top and bottom lines. Uh, guys, interesting report by uh, Constellation Brands, driven uh, unsurprisingly by their beer business. Operating margins up 330 basis points year over year. Sales strong in Corona and Modelo. A uh, little bit weaker uh, in the wine business, but again, that is what has usually, has I think, been the case or the dynamic in Constellation for the better part of a year. Yeah, they owe some thanks to Snoop Doggy Dog and Corona. Um, they've had some good <laughs> depletion growth as well here, it seems, and that largely above, as or largely across, as you were mentioning, Modelo and Corona. Uh, it's also interesting that they reached an agreement today to divest a portion of their mainstream and premium wine portfolio that includes brands like Copper and Thief, Brands like Crafters Union, Dreaming Tree, Monkey Bay, Seven Moons, the list goes on. That transaction expected to close later on. Yeah, this is a company that has been, uh, for as long as I've been covering Constellation, very focused on improving just the state of that wine portfolio. They only want to be selling higher-end wines, and this is another effort uh, in that initiative by them. I would also note this, too. A couple months ago, we got a change in the share structure uh, on how the Sands family or how much ownership they have in Constellation brands. You have that. You have the shakeup in the wine portfolio, and, and I continue to believe Constellation is gearing up for a big acquisition in the liquor, mm. in, in the liquor space within the next year. Uh, they have some holes in this portfolio. I, could they go out there and buy a tequila brand? I sure think they, they have set the stage for doing something like that at some point next year. You know, the one word we have not mentioned as we've talked about Constellation? Seltzer. Yeah. We haven't talked about the hard seltzer, which has really been Good. like a lodestone around their neck, right? Like that that is that's been a big problem for them, that over inventory of seltzer, right? So um I didn't see it in the release. I don't know if you saw it in the well, release. It's been more, of a, it's been more of a Sam Adams uh issue. They okay. they have they've had the bigger overhang. The Constellation has seltzer yeah, too. Yes, they have the Corona Seltzer. Has it lived up to what they were hoping? Probably not. That's more of what's been going on with the broader industry. But for them, this is the stock tends to be driven by what is going on with Corona, right. Modelo, and even Pacifico. And, and those businesses in this quarter look pretty good. Well, it really highlights the shift in tastes, not just pre-pandemic that we had seen from pre-pandemic or 2019 into the pandemic where people were kind of opting for some of the harder spirits that were out there in the most recent weeks and, and over the past year, you've seen more of that change back to beer because you've got more of the wholesale partners that are now reordering because they're stocking up their shelves in order to make sure that they've got enough of what the people would previously order pre-pandemic. And so going back into the beers, uh, and then additionally, it's just gonna be interesting to see where the wines actually get a bit from consumers as well going forward. I think that there has been such a, a shift and change and even the profiles that we've seen on this next generation of consumers, of some of the, spy, uh, the, the wines and liquors, um, that they're opting for other type of mechanisms and, and not necessarily just going hard, getting blasted every weekend like some of us would have when we first moved to New York. Uh, I tried recently, tried, but I think it's Bud Light Zero. It's, Bud Light it's Zero. unclear to me if it's actually beer. It, sells cit it smells citrusy. It doesn't really do anything for me, you know, in terms of getting your buzz on, but it was nice to have like a, a no carb beer, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I like the can. I like the can. No, not for yeah. me. Not What's even the point? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> gotta watch, gotta watch the waistline. No, we're not getting any younger here. We're not getting any younger. Yeah.